for those of us who grew up in the latter part of the 20th century and saw some of the earliest reality television shows, we heard things like, oh, well, this will never last. This is just a fad. But what we have seen is that it's become the majority of our television programming. Um, obviously, it's less expensive because you don't have to hire writers. But I think what it really taps into is a desire to see real people in make a real mess of their lives and then claw their way back out or not. So there's, a, there's an element of schadenfreude there. We like to see people mess up. Uh, but we also like to see them triumph over really big odds. And I think that's part of the morality tale that's, that's inherent in a lot of these programs. And I think that's also what draws us to them. I think the reality shows that where people face a challenge are some of the most interesting to viewers, in part because we all face challenges in our lives. And if you look at shows like The Biggest Loser, for example, one of the more appealing aspects of that show is we already know when we watch it that there's going to be some sort of payoff in the end, we hope, and we, we start to root for the characters. And, and in that sense, I think it tells us a story about ourselves, which is why these programs are so appealing. We live in the era of the celebrity industrial complex, and there's so many celebrities of so many types, we have to grade them like beef. And I think that's a big transformation in the last 50 to 100 years. It used to be that celebrities were created by Hollywood for our consumption, and, and little facts about their personal lives would be released to whet our appetite for the movies that they were in, but now we are keen on seeing celebrities that are just like us, as they say. We want to see them taking out their garbage, we want to see them without makeup, but we also want to see them looking absolutely glamorous on the red carpet. So I think our desire to understand celebrities as regular human beings, therefore more like us, is in constant conflict with our desire to see them as, as more glamorous, beautiful um, creatures, and I think this is why when there's some sort of stumble in a celebrity's personal life, we pounce on it. Um, as if to say, I told you so, nobody's life could be that perfect. And, and the way that we feast on little, little tidbits of their personal lives, I think, can be seen as a negative aspect of our, of our uh, popular culture world right now. Um, then again, there are also lessons to be told about those lives. If you think about it from a celebrity's perspective, uh, celebrities now never die. They just go into reality television, right? So uh, yesterday's has been is tomorrow's celebrity rehab patient. And uh, in a never ending cycle, they move up and down the grades of celebrity. So in that sense, I think we are in a very strange moment with celebrity.